Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today we are talking about how to heal yourself from a physical ailment or a chronic illness using the law of assumption because this is a question that some of you have been asking and today I'm going to answer it, so stick around. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. My name's Hedley and I am a qualified life coach. I'm an author and I am super passionate about these amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change any part of yourself life, <laughs> you have to start by changing the story in consciousness first. And if you want to create the most amazing life, then you need to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that's where these teachings can really help. And that is why I am here. I want to help you to tell much better stories. I want to help you to tell the most amazing stories so that you can experience the most amazing reality. If you would like support with this, I'm available for coaching. All of those details you'll find in the box below. And I have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story you want to be telling. And what else? I'm on Instagram. All of those details you'll find in the box below or at my website, youaretheone.com.au. Okay, let's get into it. Before we kick off, I just want to say a very big thank you to one special subscriber, KN Kelly. Thank you so much because you are my first Patreon subscriber or member or whatever they're called, I'm not sure. Uh, I set this Patreon page up a while ago and then I kind of forgot about it really because I'm just more focused on this YouTube. But now that you're there, I have one member. So I am going to be uh, spending a bit more time on my Patreon page. So thank you so much, KN. I hope I'm saying your name right. I really appreciate all of the support. And even if you're not a Patreon member, which most of you aren't because there's only one, uh, I still very much appreciate all of your support. Uh, I love making these videos. I love doing this channel. So this is my heart, my passion. So I'm here anyway, uh, but I just wanted to say thank you. And you are all extremely special to me. So thank you. A few of you asked for a video on how to heal yourself from chronic illness or a physical ailment using the law of assumption. And that is what I want to talk about because that is such a great question and it's such a, an awesome topic because we all have things throughout our life, physical uh, issues that we have to deal with. And it really does help to have the law of assumption on side because we can heal ourselves. It is absolutely possible. I know it's possible. I have done it myself. And I'm going to share a bit of that today and also a story that Neville shares in The Complete Reader about a woman who uh, worked with the law of assumption and healed her uh, blindness. Let's go back to basics, which is always where I like to start. So consciousness is the one and only reality. Reality that we experience in our day-to-day -day life is just the reflection of consciousness, meaning what you're doing in consciousness or your imagination on a dominant level most of the time is what is going to show up on the screen of your 3D reality, meaning you are going to experience what you focus on most. So when you're in some kind of pain or you have a chronic issue, your focus and attention goes straight to that issue because you're in pain. Pain is like it, it it really kind of steals our focus. Now, the concept of the law of assumption is the same across the board, that whatever you focus on is what you are going to get. So when you have a physical ailment or a, an illness or a, a, like a chronic issue that you are dealing with, that is naturally going to take your attention and most likely hold your attention. However, the principles apply. If you want to move to a new reality, a, a new experience, meaning a pain-free experience, then you have to take your attention off this pain and place it onto what it is that you want to experience. Now, this can be difficult. I get that. So I want to share a story about something that happened to me a few years ago prior to the law of assumption, because you are creating your reality, you're causing your reality, whether you know it or not. So the law of assumption is in play, whether you're aware of it or not. And I just happened to have a chronic health issue show up in my reality a couple of years ago. And I worked my way through it using the law of assumption without realizing that that's what I was doing. When you are 
experiencing a health issue or a chronic illness or a physical ailment, it is your body talking to you, communicating to you and wanting your attention. But the body communicates through itself and through the language of health issues, whatever they might be. If you have something that is uh, affecting your body, it is because there is a story running behind it. Now, you do not have to know that's what that story is. The body will clear itself. The body is extraordinarily intelligent. It wants to heal. Your body wants to be in perfect health. That's its natural state. What we do is we clog it up with negative stories and negative assumptions and negative emotions and energies. It has to rid itself. It's like the purge that I've spoken about in another video where when there's change, the body will expel what is no longer needed. And the same is for a health issue. So with this health issue that I experienced uh, a couple of years ago, I am going to tell this story and I'm going to just uh, preface it by saying, I, as I said, I have revised this story. And I am now on a new timeline. I just want to preface my body to let it know that this is no longer my story, that the reason I'm telling this story is for the benefit of you. So when I was living in Bali, I set the intention. I actually went to a ceremonial uh, temple and that temple, what that temple does is that actually clears like negative energies. So I'd set the attention during the ceremony that I wanted to rid my body of anything that was no longer needed. What happened that night was I woke up in the middle of the night needing to go to the toilet as you do in Bali occasionally. And what was, I didn't realize that was gonna happen was that continued for the next six months to the point where a friend of mine said to me, you know, Heads, I think you really need to go and see a doctor because this is not normal and I was losing a lot of weight. But I was kind of just treating the symptoms at this point. I was not paying any attention to it. I was just like, oh, this is really annoying. And it, and it was starting to get a little bit more awkward. I thought, okay, yeah, you're right. I really need to look at this. So then I started to try and treat what was happening. What happened was things got worse to the point where my body was uh, no longer able to carry anything. It was just, it was expelling everything and anything uh, to the point where I was on the toilet, but then also vomiting as well and uh, I was being admitted to hospital way too many times. And so I had to come back to Australia. I went to see every expert that I could on this matter and everybody did all the tests on me. There was no parasites, there was no nothing. And they actually said, you're in perfect health. Like we can't see anything wrong with you. Meanwhile, I'm like in and out of hospital because you know my bowels and my body is just not accepting any foods or or drink or water. So I was incredi incredibly underweight and dehydrated, couldn't hold anything down. This was going on for a year and a half and it really got to the point where, yeah, my life was definitely in danger. Because again, I was trying to treat the issue and, I, and the, the worse the issue got, the more I was focused on it. And it got to the point where I couldn't actually leave my home. I went to a medical intuitive and she actually said something really interesting that made me think that this is not just a physical issue, that there was something going on prior, like behind it, that my body was trying to get my attention for. I realized that there was a very major event that happened to me in my early 20s that I hadn't resolved. This was my body trying to expel this, this trauma from my body. I actually took certain action steps in order to resolve that. As I worked on that issue, my body started to heal. What was really interesting was um, I then saw a, a documentary on Netflix. So this is prior to Law of Assumption, but it's still Law of Assumption because it's all where your focus is. So I saw a documentary called Heal on Netflix and that was my turning point because I realized I was focused on the health issue. And the more I focused on the health issue, the more distressed I got. And the more distressed I got, the worse the health issue got. So I saw this movie. That day, I went for a walk, which I, I, I rarely did because, um, you know, I needed to be close to bathrooms at all times. By this stage, things were that bad. And I went for a walk and I forgot because I was thinking about this movie and I forgot how far I had walked and I realized I had walked a long way from home. 
and I was probably a good half an hour from home and there were no bathrooms along the way in case I got into trouble. As soon as I had that thought that I was that there were no bathrooms along the way, suddenly I needed to go. By this stage, I knew to not put my focus on what was happening. So I put my focus on the footsteps and I just reminded myself that I am safe, I am safe, I am safe. And I walked slowly back as if I didn't need to go to the toilet. I had to work extremely hard to focus my attention on just keeping things normal as if everything was normal. And I managed to get back to my home in time. And then what I did was I visualized my body working perfectly. That was my turnaround. I had to take my attention off the issue and I had to imagine that I didn't have the issue. Now I understand this is a super difficult and challenging experience to do, especially when you're in pain or discomfort. I pretended that I was totally safe and calm and everything was fine as opposed to being in distress or in pain or in discomfort. I actually talked myself through that each experience. Now I will say that that took time and focus and all of my attention. I really couldn't give my attention to anything else other than just holding myself through each of those moments, turning my attention very consciously to another experience. Even if I took it to my foot, you know, taking my attention off what I was experiencing and putting my attention in my foot because my foot was great. <laughs> With any physical or chronic illness, what you want to do is to actually say, okay, this is what I'm dealing with. You want to be very honest. This is incredibly painful. This is incredibly uncomfortable. This is incredibly what I do not want, unfavorable. And then paint the scene of what you and your body would look like if this did not exist. Like how does your body need to work? How would it feel to be in a body that doesn't have this issue? So you have to paint that picture in your imagination because that's where you go to solve any problem or create anything that you want or revise anything unfavorable from your past. It's all done in your imagination. You go in there and you do whatever you need to do to make it as real as and convincing as possible. And that's where you get to use your spiritual senses. You will find that if you stick with that, your body has to reflect back because regardless of what is happening, the principle is the same. Consciousness is the one and only reality and whatever you're doing dominantly in consciousness has to get reflected back in physical form and the body is an expression of consciousness. The body is consciousness in physical form. So it follows consciousness. So do whatever you have to do to move your focus away from the current reality to what it is that you want to experience and how you want your body to be working. I have done it. So it can be done. And if I'm in your movie and I'm saying this, that it is possible, I'm you pushed out, reflecting back you, telling you that yes, you can heal yourself from whatever issue you are facing in your body. You can absolutely turn things around. And I have absolutely done that. I have come back from what at one point I thought I was not going to come back from. And I did it by taking my attention off what I was going through and placing it using everything that I had, every ounce of strength that I had left in that moment because I was like, you know, there was not a lot of me. And I had to take what strength I had to mentally turn my attention to that instead of what my current reality was saying. So I'm, I'm not underestimating the effort that it took to take your attention off something that is in the physical and extremely painful and hijacking all of your senses and attention. I understand the challenge, but I want to remind you it is possible that you can do it. And just to wrap things up, just very quickly, Neville does share a story in The Complete Reader. He shares several actually, but one of them is a woman who went blind. She came to Neville, she came to his lectures and she listened and she went away and what she did was she revised the accident that had happened that caused her to lose her vision. So she corrected her behavior so that the accident never happened and she continued to rehearse that new scene over and over and over. And the more she did that, she started to regain her vision. I'm not sure if it completely came back, but I certainly know that it did very much heal her vision and she was able to see again. You know, there's, there's so many experiences and examples of people who have healed themselves from so many like amazingly cra crazy chronic illnesses and, you know, challenging experiences in their body. So it absolutely can be done, but it does start with you taking your focus off it. Always 
please remember you are the creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. If you would like support with this, you can find my details at youarethewonecomau Please leave your comments. I love reading them. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.